Good morning, everybody. We are in this area known as Tolls Court Artist Colony, which is what it started out was it was a neighborhood, like two blocks of this neighborhood with these old, uh, I don't know if you call them modern mid-century houses. I'm not sure what the what the architectural terms are, but they took a lot of these homes and redid them, repainted them, and they use them as artist studios or photography studios. I'm trying to think of what that is. Yeah, that's a photography studio, this one here. And uh, so you see the sign here. Tolls Court. I come by and I jog by here once in a while. And, and occasionally they have these things. Let's take a, take a quick uh, pan around. You can see a lot of these are older homes but have been uh, updated, I guess you could say. They're sort of updated so they don't look old but the original foundation is old and they've maybe, you know, done a lot of renovating, painting, you know, porches have been redone. They've done like the little backyards. It's pretty, uh, what is the adjective? Uh, inspirational. Maybe that's what, uh, why? This is another gallery here. You see there's just like lots of art and bright colors. And they've built a uh, a little walkway between the houses. This would normally be people's backyards, basically. This is what this is, is people's backyards. I've been out here. A little bird feeder there. I've been out here when they've had, like, bands, like, right here. They had, like, little bands over here in this little area, courtyard area. Shuggy Boogie's Gallery Garden Gifts. Maybe I should do a, a video here when they're... Uh, when they're having one of their nights like they have. You see how this has lights here? Christmas lights on the poles here. They will light these up. This, uh, <laughs> light these up. This one's really cool. This, uh, this is a cafe. I don't know if this was an actual house, but it's pretty, pretty cool. You know, what's funny is, is I was getting ready to uh, talk about a different subject and I actually was just walking this way and found out <laughs> look at this piece of artwork it's like a steel a steel sign that's just been colored very colorful here uh, I was I was thinking about talking to you guys about a different subject something that's sort of been on my mind and sort of something I struggle with and I just happen to be going by Tolls Court and I'm like well why don't I just open it talking about Tolls Court look how pretty this house is like I said, this is probably an old wood style house and they've taken it and they've put tile on the front and sort of made a little, a pretty, uh, what do you call that, a porch, kind of a decorator porch. Pretty neat looking. It almost, and they got some tile, uh, what do they call that, marble or stone tile up there. It's a pretty fantastic area, I tell you what. If you look on this side, this is, I don't think this is considered part of Toll's Court necessarily. This is sort of across the street, but the houses are still nice. But you, and then you look on this side and you've got, uh, of course, the Coles Torts, <laughs> Coles Tort, Coles Court signs and the purple buildings and purple and blue and bright colors. Some of these houses, I wonder how original they are because this one looks pretty fantastic. Look at that, look at that house. I don't know if that's been built onto, but it's a pretty cool design how it's got this multi-level thing going. Just a fantastic area. Amazing, somewhat inspiring. This one's got kind of that vine covered little cottage look to it over here. Look at that. A little kind of little iron fence with a little, just kind of tucked away there. So something I've been struggling with is for me, is self-doubt and what what is defined as is lack of confidence lacking confidence and I think as human beings we all sort of go go through this type of thing we all have a little bit of that built in I think there's a there's a few rare people out there maybe those people that are sort of uh, those guys that are uh, mega successes in their life Maybe went through some self-doubt earlier in their career, but like the people that are like the people who started Amazon, the Jeff Bezos people, and the guy who started the Tesla company, I think those are the rare people 
that have either figured out how they never really had much self-doubt in themselves or they never really allowed it to bother them. They were allowed to push past doubting whether their idea of, uh, I'm trying to, I, I really don't know how um, Jeff Bezos or the other guy got started or, you know, the Donald Trump, the old school, like Donald Trump people, uh, you know, the people who are, you know, uh, multimillionaires or billionaires have, you know, wh whether they really struggle with it, but they all started somewhere. There's, there's not that many people except for like the Rockefellers or the Kennedys that started out with money. So they never really had to pull themselves up from nothing. And uh, I was, wa funny enough, I was actually watching The Bachelor. I wonder if I should show you that crazy house with the, there's a, <laughs> I shouldn't say crazy house. There's a house over here with mannequins. Maybe on the way I can, I can show it to you. It's really, really interesting. I think it's down this way. If, uh, if we don't, if I don't see it. I'll tag it on the end of the video if, if I don't find it because I can't remember what street it's on. But anyway, like the point I'm trying to get to is the way I'm walking around in circles. It's very loud here for some reason. Lots of big trucks. Is that a lot of us weren't born with any money or any advantages and those kinds of things. Um, many of us were born in average homes and or poor homes and have had to <laughs> it's gonna be one of those noisy days it's a noisy Tuesday look at this cool little birdhouse over here I really like that it's like a little wood birdhouse with a little uh, it looks like a little copper roof very very uh, craftsmanship like it's cool I just like to notice those little things at this place, a little, a little old school apartment building. You know, it's funny, I've probably been down the street 30, 40, 50 times. I have yet to notice this building, which is an old school, uh, like apartment, apartment complex kind of thing, where it's got the single front door and then a second story there. I can tell it's probably built 20s, 30s. This neighborhood was probably started around then. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been struggling myself just with self-doubt with ideas on YouTube to do um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to Start a business a photography business also in addition to YouTube and my other job and it's something I'm passionate about but for some reason when I think about taking the steps toward getting a getting a uh, uh, What do they call that? A web page Getting a web page and investing in more equipment, I keep thinking, for some reason, gee, I don't know, if I invest hundreds of dollars in this and, and it doesn't work out, what's going to happen? And, it, and I think that's like a, it's like sort of a doubting mentality. And it's really easy to say, it's, it's an easy thing to tell somebody is just believe in yourself and all your dreams, oh, here's the house right here. Believe in yourself and all your dreams will come true. But there's a lot more to it, I think, in reality. But check this out real quick. This house has got these statues out front. <laughs> it's got kind of like some kind of, I don't know if it's like a Middle Eastern thing. You've got like an Indian thing. I guess that's Buddha with the long ears. And then you've got these two, uh, I don't know what you call them. It's like these two mannequins that are really painted kind of I don't know, it's like odd, and it's got like skulls and chains and shackles. It's just a really funky looking uh, <laughs> thing. Obviously some kind of homemade, you know, thing going on there. But like, there's also, there's also some, some artwork back here where it's got, I don't know, like garbage can lids or something. Just all kinds of neat little things hidden, hidden back out here. Anyway, I really like that. It inspires me to say if somebody can take normal materials, because there's like it looks like there's like uh, you know there's uh, <laughs> ordinary stuff you buy at the store over here turned into. I think there's garbage can lids over there, but there's ordinary stuff that has been turned on to art, and it always inspires me to say they they have you know just been uh, creative 
Like, I don't know what that thing is right there. There's like a purple, purple thing. Looks like maybe some glassware that's been turned into like a flower. There's a spider's web right there. Been turned into a flower. You can see the house has got some cool stuff in there. I wonder if there's studios out back because you see how there's some mannequins back there? Right there. There's some white mannequins back there. I don't know. It's like I should, uh, I feel like I should stop by and knock on the door one day. See, here's some more stuff. There's like a little baby, <laughs> a gold baby. That's pretty cool. And some other homemade materials. It's always, it's always interesting for, for because that's something I, I enjoy doing myself is creating things from things I have in the garage, you know, building something from just materials, wood and just my brain power, you know. Um, occasionally I do put those videos on from time to time I used to do a lot of things like Halloween things I would build myself, you know, Halloween decorations and stuff. If you, I think if you go into the playlist, you can find some stuff about how to make stuff, stuff that I've made. But anyway, and hopefully that's going to continue into the future at some point when I have some inspiration. It's a nice neighborhood downtown Sarasota. Real, real close to Main Street. What is this? It's Cherry, Cherry Lane. Wow. Ohio Place and Cherry Lane. Quiet little neighborhood. Right between the business area and the southern section of downtown, there's like this little neighborhood. Anyway, back, sorry. I'm having one of those ADD days where I'm just struggling to sort of keep on topic. Look at that bright colored house. So, uh, yeah, self-doubt is, I think, is a really... Is, is really tough when you're trying to go out and start a business or do something on your own. And uh, the other forms of it is uh, that I think that we don't, from our friends and from our family, I'm just speaking in general terms once again, I'm not speaking specifically, we don't get enough praise for what we do. Um, you know, I try to uh, be creative in giving to my family members, you know, and uh, create photographs and do a lot of family photography and stuff and I don't always get uh, encouragement toward that stuff like you know what you do is great I do sometimes too I'm just I'm just making a point of look at that house that the house is amazing look at their, their driveway actually matches the thing they got they got like a dark driveway and a dark uh, railings with the red it's a pretty interesting like I said it's a very arty neighborhood some really cool paint jobs. You don't see like a red and black like that often. So um, I'm trying to I'm trying to formulate some kind of uh, <laughs> coherent something coherent to tell you guys. The main thing is is to let you know that I am struggling with self doubt on a daily basis. And until somebody, I guess, when you're starting something new, until you feel, hey, look, there's a bike. There's one of those art bikes. It's weird that it's in this neighborhood. There's so much stuff, it seems like, to show you guys. Sometimes I, I walk through certain places and there's really nothing interesting. But there's, like, this bike with flowers and stuff. It's another, like, art bike installation. Oh, there's a little bird there. A little bird kind of peeking out of a little hole there on the seat. Nice. There's a, if you don't know, there's a guy that, that makes these art bikes and puts them around town, locks them up. They're all over the place. They're kind of like Easter eggs if you look around or you drive slowly through downtown, you'll just see these bikes. And I think that's inspiring too, but I don't know how to fix self out. I actually, I don't really have remedies for the other, other than sort of telling myself that I can accomplish whatever I can imagine is. And I, and I have seen that come true in my life. But there's sort of like a yin and yang str struggle, like with the good, the good angel on one, and then the bad angel telling you stuff. And you know, like I said, I'm trying to start a business, photography business, but it's gonna, I'm gonna have to invest money. Don't have a lot of money to invest in that right now. So I want to start a website, but then I'm gonna have to pay the money for the website. And if it doesn't start paying off, then I'm going to not be able to afford the website. So therein lies the struggle of self-doubt doubting 
my ability, doubting my idea that it's a workable idea. There's a little nut on the ground. I don't know what kind of nut is. Does anybody know what that is? Is that a pit to a fruit? So uh, another another point to my uh, my speech or whatever you want to call it like, is that there are famous people that have struggled. Walt Disney is a famous person that has struggled that struggled with stardom. Walt Disney, you say, well, what do you mean? He started Disneyland. He had the Disney Film Corporation or whatever it was called. He was very successful. Yet in the first part of his life, he actually died when he was like 64. He was relatively young when he passed away from lung cancer, I believe. In the first part of his career, he failed many times uh, trying to start like a cartoon movie studio. And he, he uh, like his first character, the rabbit character, he sold and somebody took that character, so he had to start over with Mickey Mouse and I don't know, you can, there's, there's plenty of stuff on the internet that you can look up biography wise for Walt Disney, how he was the ultimate guy that probably had failed a hundred times and came back through persistence and trying and probably telling himself he could be, a, you know, I don't know that his wife or, you know, he, he had anybody around him to uh, encourage him to keep trying. But it can, uh, you know, starting a business and failing can be very soul crushing in a manner of words, you know, and or failing at something, you know, trying to go into a new endeavor or say you're trying to change careers. It's, it's, uh, it's tough. It's just life can be just really tough. And there's I don't find that there's a lot of people that are that are, you know, rooting for you. I feel that uh, you really have to uh, be a fighter and be willing to fail and get back up and fail again and get back up and just realize that it's like you know you're not cursed so I don't know if that's making sense to you I just wanted to share with you because maybe you think that because I am sort of an entrepreneurial person and I've decided to have this this channel where I go out and be uh, motivated and I don't want you to think that I'm like pretending this is what this is part of the reason why I'm doing this. Look at this cool uh, place with the big fountain there. Pretty nice. The fountain kitchen and wine bar there. This is the fancy part of Main Street, or not Main Street, downtown area. They have a lot of fancy shops and stuff, boutiques. But I, like I said, it's, it's kind of a struggle. A lady sitting here doing something. How are you guys doing? I guess they're doing like a photo shoot over there. You see that? Looks like they're doing some kind of fashion photo shoot. Pretty cool. So a lot of a lot of interesting things on it. You know, some days I'm down here. I'm go, I go the same way. I start like at that one street and I come down here and I jog toward. Uh, the Sarasota Bay and stuff and I see nothing interesting going on but today I don't know I don't know if that's on my mind or what it is that I'm just not having my uh, my creative mind and just noticing a lot of times I'm jogging so I'm not walking and noticing but um, yeah I'm just sharing my personal struggle and I like I said in the past I've, I read a lot of books a lot of I read a lot of auto, autobiographies and you hear that more often than not, people who you thought had a relatively easy ascendance to their success, but some people struggle for 10 years, 15 years to get to a point to where they were successful, not only monetarily, you know, with money, but also successful as being accepted in their art, whether they're an actor, an entertainer, or a comedian, or an artist. We all struggle, so by sharing this, I'm hoping that relating this to you, that, that it will encourage you to, to uh, reach beyond where you think you can go in life. Whether it's a job that's like a non-creative non job, whether you want, want to have a plumbing company or your own business as a carpenter, 
I believe you can do it. The thing is that you really have to convince yourself that you can do it and have faith in yourself because uh, very, very few often times your parents are there. Like I said, I'm speaking generally again. My, my parents weren't necessarily really uh, uh, there in a way to like root me on. We think you can do great. And may, you know, I'm, I'm ambivalent about that because they're both gone now, but maybe I'm choosing to remember that wrong. And I don't, it's just one of those things. Like I just don't feel like I was encouraged to be a photographer or encouraged to do things. And maybe I was encouraged. Excuse me, I got some gas there. But I don't look back and blame that. But anyway, so hopefully that made some sense to you. That hopefully will help you to inspire you to realize that you have a lot of talent inside you that you can, you can do things in your life too. And it's okay to fail as long as you keep persisting. That is where the success comes from. Like I said, I've struggled for a long time on YouTube to get any views. Sometimes I used to post videos and they'd get two views and that was it. And it's not like I'm getting mega views now. I realize that by saying that. Sometimes my videos get 20 views. Sometimes they get 100 views. Sometimes it takes a while. And I realize that. So, I think that's all I got to say. I can't think of anything else to say. Other than it's a beautiful day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for all your great responses and all your support. And I'm going to go jogging now and sweat off about 10 pounds because it's probably about 95 degrees right now. <laughs> There's a dog right there. It's my fr a friend of mine's house right there. See you guys later.